What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, and we are here with Pete and Leon from Thumpsters, a really great app if you got kids and you really, like I got 16 and 11-year-old, you want them to start really paying attention to their chores and make sure they accomplish all the things that you need for them to accomplish at home as well. Pete, Leon, welcome. Hey, Leon. Did I do a good enough job describing thumpsters? You guys want to do a better uh, job? Maybe, maybe, maybe slightly off. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. So the, the, the purpose of the app is to encourage positive behavior improvement habits. and 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 habit forming. So uh, chores is one of those things, um, and it definitely fits into the app in in many ways. But what we're looking for is like positive recognition of positive behavior and the diminishing of uh, you know negative behavior traits in children. That's the basics of what the app is about. It, it tracks all the data and, and provides the feedback to the parents. And we're starting to introduce resourcing and stuff in there too. So that's kind of what the app's about. Pete, I believe I said that. I'm just kidding. Sort of. <laughs> <Anyway, laughs> sort of. I think of there, you just, there's an echo in here, isn't it? No. Okay. No, <laughs> thank you for that. Pete. All right. I want to thank you to revenue cat who has, this is part of their revenue cat growth challenge. They selected, they hand selected and I got to be a part of it in choosing thumpsters. We thought there was a lot of potential. A lot of people within the revenue cat team had already used the app and loved the app. And so they thought with this would be a great challenge for us app masters to help you out in collaboration and revenue cat is flipping the bill on all of it. So thank you guys. So I want to show you the before and after for the ASO. This was the ASO. We won't say who, but somebody else did the ASO, not the Thumpsters team. And then we have the after. Part of the big thing that I saw too was obviously Pete, Leon, you, you know, you want to be more, not just known as a chores tracker, but like, you know, that positive reinforcement, but we do know that chores tracker has the highest traffic key keyword of all the keywords that are somewhat relevant to the app. And so we moved chores tracker to the top and then behavior chart didn't have a lot of volume because all the marketing efforts we're going to be doing, you really want to go after the higher traffic, most relevant, most relevant is the most important. And then the next best important thing would be the higher traffic. And then obviously chore chart for kids and parents is the other thing. I also forgot to mention Karan from my team, who's one of our team leads for the app growth team, Amon, are part of our part of this video too. And they've been in charge of like really handling most of the task here too. So I want to show you this. This is a spreadsheet that we put together for every client. This is our normal ASO spreadsheet. We pull data from mobile action app radar, and then here's the live ranking right now as of this recording. So we've seen some pretty big improvements. As you can see chore chart, which was in the subtitle is now jumped from 15 to four, three to the 66 for chore to three chore app 57 to two and then chores and allowance we are fluctuating between one and two at the moment when i just recently checked we were two but we have seen it be one at times two so we're seeing positive results now has there been a major difference in downloads not quite yet and so that's what this first round and that's what this video is all about talk about the strategy behind some of the changes the improvements that we've made. And while there has been keyword improvements, we really want to be towards really number one, frankly. If we can't be number one, we're not going to see a huge impact on downloads. And then Chores Tracker, which I said had the biggest traffic, you know, he has 39. We did jump from 48 to seven. Now, are you going to see a difference in downloads from jumping from 48 to seven? No. So, but it is a jump and we're trying to like improve it. And we're going to share with you as we continue to grow how well our rankings does as well. Pete and Leon, anything you guys want to add here? Now, recently, this is our first month engaging. We had started Apple search ads. Part of this revenue cat challenge is we have about $5,000 to spend and we're going to show you guys where we're spending it. We started an Apple search ads campaign because we want to do meta and I want to talk to Leon and Pete about how we can run meta without an SDK. So maybe I'll talk to them about this, but I want to show off search ads. So there is this campaign that we've kind of come up with it's called the basic plus. I won't share it with you guys. And, and I swore I made Pete and Leon swear that they won't share it either, how we structure this, but it is a great campaign that is working. As you can see, this campaign is getting most of the spend and we're getting a, under a $2 cost per acquisition for this. But I wanted to just reveal some numbers here. We're not spending a whole lot yet, but we are getting a really good cost per acquisition and we'll measure it. We'll try to scale that up. We want to get that going. We'll probably start increasing the budgets. We wanted it to be about $100 a day, but certain campaigns are spending a bit more than others, but this is just the start. So good signs there so far. And then this 
that's a little sneak peek of how we structure these campaigns. But I'll explain a little bit about this a little bit later. But this is how we set up. This is the ad group. So this is a sneak peek. You get that inside reveal, but I won't expand on it any more <laughs> than here. So I'll just leave it at that. Okay. And the next things that we've been working on and what the next video we want to show you guys is right now we're seeing a slight improvement in downloads from a, a percentage percent. It's not like super big yet, but we are making some changes to the onboarding and the paywall. I want to walk through some of the suggestions that we made. And then once it goes live and we have a few weeks of data, I do want to share the results of that, whether it did improve it or it didn't improve it. And we want to be transparent with you guys on that. Pete, how are things going so far for you? Yeah, they, they, they're they going they're going fine. You mentioned that the meta SDK. Just fine. Is it, it, yeah, no, no, I'm just saying the meta, the meta, meta SDK is actually in the app now. So we've actually got that in there. Okay. So we, we should be good to actually do something with that now, I guess. That's awesome. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So we'll get that campaign going. And then maybe in video three, we'll kind of share our meta strategy with you guys too and how we set it up. And then one thing I did want to do, Pete, if you guys are okay with it, for those who don't have the SDK, I would like to do a couple of campaigns. So one with the SDK, one campaign, and then another campaign that is a growth hacky campaign where if you don't have an SDK, I'm going to show you exactly how you can set that up and we'll just compare it. We'll launch both of those campaigns. We'll use the same ad creatives and we'll just compare the results and give you those numbers. And so that way I can show off the hacky way and then the, the proper way of doing meta ads. What do you guys think? That's some fun, right? Yeah. I mean, I like hacky. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we like to move fast, break things. So like if that, yeah. if that works, then yeah, we'll go for it. I mean, we like to see the comparison anyway, because sometimes Definitely. Sometimes the thing that you don't think will work will work. So yeah. yeah, looking forward to sort of seeing the results. Was there anything that you guys wanted to talk about while we're recording this? Not not specifically. We're just trying to work our way through. I guess we're just kind of excited to see what going with a meta campaign will look like. Because uh, Thumbsus has had zero effort put into its its marketing. Every all the growth it's had has been completely organic. So it'd be really interesting to see. I mean, other, th other than sort of like a few sort of very micro influencer campaigns like three years ago, I'm really interested to sort of see what this does to our downloads and, and also conversion is the other thing. So yeah, that's that's probably the thing I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing. Is there a seasonal time? I know the New Year's might be a good time for most apps. So is this app mm. seasonal at all? Pete? Uh, yeah, somewhat. So we always see a, a higher trial cancellation right after or or subscription cancellation right after christmas mm. um or running up to christmas it sort of seems like families are like let the kids go wild do whatever they want over christmas chores don't mean a thing and then what happens is they get through to the other side of new year and school starts in the u.s like straight away because they're all back in class and all of a sudden parents are like what's going on? I don't know how to fix this. And they start looking for tools. And so Thumpsons comes up. And so what we see is we see a generally upward vertical trend in the, the number of trial activations, which generally will turn into subscriptions if the tool fits well within the family that's uh, downloaded it. So next video, we're going to talk more about the monetization side of things. And then I want to give Facebook ads some time to breathe, but maybe a month into Facebook ads, we can share some of the data. And I, I really want to use most of the budget on Facebook ads because I do feel like I want about maybe one to 2000 on Apple search ads and the majority of it on Facebook so that we can start comparing which channel is the best for you guys too. And then the audience can follow along. There's Thank nothing you. else. Stay tuned. Thank you to revenue cat. Go check out revenue cat for all your subscription management needs. And they've got this great new feature where if they are asking for a refund, it's a pain in the butt. They're going to help you try to recover that user and then also manage that refund request as well. So thank you, Revenue Cat. Thank you to Pete, Leon. Thank you to Mon Karan from my team as well. And we'll see you on the next video. <laughs>